What up, Heart Squad? The Pokemon Celebrations openings continue with this new Pokemon Celebration Mini Tins. You heard that right! The Mini Tins featuring all of the starter Pokemon from every region have been released actually yesterday. Uh, I got this box and I got all of these boxes from Collector's Cash, so thank you so much, Collector's Cash. You can go check them out to get your very own Celebrations products. And I wanted to feature every single artwork on every mini tin. So we are opening up every mini tin so we can future all of these glorious starter Pokemon from the past 25 years of Pokemon. Now, I will say, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. Join the Heart Squad, join the community. We got another big opening up uh, tomorrow and basically almost every single day on the channel. So I appreciate it as always. Let's just grab the first 10. Now, obviously, if you put them all in order, they actually make an artwork, which was on the thumbnail of this video. But these tins come with the following. We will just go ahead and open it up instead of just featuring the back like that because I'm eager. And this has been such a fun set. I did a massive opening of every Pokemon Celebrations product that I got uh, on Thursday. If you haven't seen that, we got some incredible pulls because Pokemon Celebrations is comprised of two different subsets. The classical collection, which is the ones that have like the reprint of the base set cards, the Umbreon Gold Star, and then of course the main set, which you get those reprints of the surfing and flying Pikachu and some other incredible cards. On screen right now, before we begin the Celebrations opening, I'm only missing two cards from the main set. The Full Art Professor's Research of Professor Oak, and of course, the Golden Shiny Mew. For the Classical Collection, it's a different story. Now, we did pull the Charizard and the Venusaur and Blastoise, and the Charizard is a very difficult card to pull from my research. Lots of other cards are incredibly difficult to pull, and so on screen, you will have seen cards like the Umbreon, and of course, uh, what am I missing? Uh, they were on the screen for a reason. There was a lot of cards like Imposter Professor Oak and Rockets in Men too. So those are the cards we will be on the lookout for today. Look at this. It's not a golden. This is the first time I'm seeing a silver. Cause I think I have it over here. Dragapult Prime Box. We have the golden one. So now we're in second place. We have the silver one. Man, the golden one doesn't have these little sparkles in it like the silver one does. Each of these tins cost $8.99 is the MSRP for them. Uh, I like this one better than the golden one because it doesn't have the sparkles on the other one. So this is the artwork of what it's supposed to uh, look like. Here are the different types of Pokemon. This is the full thing of what it's supposed to look like. Obviously, I only had room to do like that one and yeah. collect all eight for one big picture. And then you get two packs, which, you know, are kind of smashed in there. What three packs? I had no idea I didn't read this. One additional Pokemon. Man, these things are worth it. These things are really worth it. My my gosh. All right, so uh, with that in mind, I'll be showcasing every 10 and getting into every single product. Let me, uh, I do have some extra, as you saw, extra celebrations products that if we have time for, I will get into. But in the meantime, it's time for the Lean Our Trademark Pattern and Guess the Energy, Psychic Energy. And away we go. Now, this is Darkness Ablaze. Basically, you just want that Charizard VMAX in this set if you're looking for the most uh, craziest chase card to pull. Arctovish and a Goth. So, nothing crazy with that one, but it's time for these glorious looking Celebrations packs. Now, only four cards come on the inside. Code card, from my experience, does not matter. Like, we have this white back code card. Doesn't matter. It could be anything in it. And so... Here we go. Let's continue the chase for all. And another card has been pulled right away. First time pulling Rocket Admin. A card, a very, very playable and competitive card from the set Team Rocket Returns from way back when. I think it was 2004. Let's see. Yeah, 2004. And a flying Pikachu VMAX. 
These are very, very common. This, not so much. So very happy because we can scratch that one off the list just like that. I think my number one chase card from the classical set right now, it's it's gotta be the uh, the golden, I mean the, uh, well obviously I want the shiny Mew, but the Umbreon. There is a Xerneas, which we also need to pull from one of the uh, other cards. Yvelto, it's what's for dinner. And there's the other version of Flying Pikachu. So uh, in the other video, I compared the original Flying Pikachus and Surfing Pikachus and even the original cards from when they were originally released in their years to the reprints, which obviously have the little 25th logo on them. If you'd like to go see all of those comparisons as we get into the next 10, uh, definitely go check. Oh my gosh, it's hideous. This is terrible. How do you allow that to happen? The Pikachu V Union box that I opened up in that other celebrations video that I'm talking about that I did, it was an error box. Like all the cards were upside down. Everything on the inside of the box was upside down. That's terrible, by the way, this is terrible. Okay, so let's see what we got. Is this gonna be silver? Okay, so it's another silver coin. I love these. I'm, I'm they're bigger ones. They're cool. Uh, I'll show you the artwork. No, 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 no. It's the right corner, and there's all the uh, Pokemon. So very cool. Let's see if the if it's a Darkness of Blaze pack. Yes, it looks like it is. So looks like there's a common theme of these packs of like Darkness of Blaze have been in the products that we have. So it looks like their Pokemon's just kind of trying to get rid of the excess supply of Darkness of Blaze packs. Fighting energy. Now, in the, there's also vivid voltage packs and chilling rain packs. So those are very nice, but there's no, ev I don't think there's been any evolving skies packs. That's really interesting. So they're definitely trying to get rid of the excess supply. Don't let go, Grammar, which is I'm fine with. And a Thievel. So nothing crazy from those. Um, not Darkness of Blaze as much. Chilling rain, vivid. I still haven't pulled the Rainbow Pikachu. So like I'll always love getting those. Uh, but here we go. Looks like there's a full art at the end, maybe a Zashin or Zamazenta. Cosmog, Lugia, and another flying Pikachu. Well, I was wrong about the call for that one, but that's okay. Let's get into this next Celebrations pack and see. These are, like I said, these are only like four cards, so it's really reminiscent to Dollar Tree or Dollar General packs. Um, wait. Hey, so there's a classical card, a Here Comes Team Rocket. Now, this is one of the very few ones that I actually like the reprint better. Uh, because it's just so sparkly, you can't tell in the other ones. There's a Mew, and there's the code, which I swear I thought I showed you, but I guess I did not. Let's move on to the next Tim. Little only Sleeping Litten. Oh, that's a little better. I've, I've noticed throughout the years, there's been Shining Fates mini tins. There's been Galar Region mini tins. It's like the these things on the back always just are like, just, just slotted on there. They're never perfectly straight. All right, so silver coin. I'll show you the artwork so you can see it. And there's the set information for that as far as the location on the card. And it's another Darkness Ablaze pack. So we'll quickly get into the Darkness Ablaze pack. I'm gonna say I'm feeling in fuego. So let's go with fire for the guess of the energy. Well, there goes that. Eventually I'll get one. Mushroom. Skitty, Golette, Hippo, Larvesta, Zuelius, and a Decidueye. So our first pull of the day is a holographic for the Darkness to Blaze extra packs, but we mainly care about these celebration cards. Uh, I'll just go ahead and not show the code, but I'll show it at the very end. Reshiram, and a Gardevoir EX from Dragon Frontiers. We pulled this already before, uh, but it's very nice to get duplicates. And uh, speaking of duplicates that we just keep on getting is that flying Pikachu. So uh, let's get into the next pack. We got plenty of tins to go. And of course, my favorite tin, you can probably see at the very back over there, the Kanto region one uh, with my boys on it. Let's get in focus, please. Cosmog, a Mew. And there we go. So that pack was pretty fast. Let's get to my favorite Look at Pikachu tail. My favorite tin. I I'm cl clearly I like Gen 1 the best. Um, even though I gotta love a little not to here and then. But I don't know. It's just so nostalgic seeing those three on here. Um, Squirtle. And they give some love. Look at that love they give to Bulbasaur. Is Squirtle riding on top of Bulbasaur? Or is kind of just back there jumping? I don't know. Jump on it. 
Let's see. Anything different about these? Nope, there's the silver coin. Got a bunch of those now. There is the artwork. And there is the cover. It starts off the very, very first one. I'm assuming those are, were they all in order? I haven't really even paid attention to that, but. Another Darkness Ablaze pack. Still, lots of classical collection cards that we need to pull. This actually goes over here, excuse me. Uh, let's go with Fighting Energy. Still nose goes for the guest the energy. Uh, lots of cards that are needed to be pulled. So, Grimer, Wimpod, and a Rillaboom golden card. I gotta say, this is an absolute beautiful card. So, a very, very great pull. Rillaboom secret rare. Not bad. Well, that's good. And of course, it would be in the Kanto League. In. Uh, let's get into this pack. Lots of, uh, you know, I still want to get that shiny Mew. But speaking of shiny, a shiny magic card. I have not pulled this one until now. And then a Lunala. How about that? From the set Neo Revelation. A Shining Magikarp. Of course, there was a Shining Gyarados in the set. I've been opening up Neo Revelation packs, first edition on this channel recently, to try to pull these guys. But we just pulled one now. A Shining Magikarp. Uh, scratch that off of the classical card list, please. This has been an incredible tin. I knew Squirrel wouldn't let us down. All right. Cosmog, Reshiram, Xerneas, very nice professor's research. This I've only pulled this one one time. So very cool to see it again in this video and the code. What a great tin that was. But let's get into another great region as I get into this. But uh, like I said, we need the full art professor's research and the golden shiny Mew. Let's see if we can do that in this next tin. Silver coin. I will show you the art. I love all the rainbows in the backs of these cards. If you look close enough, they're like in every single one. I'm assuming all of those are the same. So let's see if our Darkness Ablaze pack can get us in a little roll of pulling another. We got that Rillaboom in the last pack, uh, Psychic Energy. Still nose goes with the guest the energy, but that's okay. As long as we can keep on those coming with those pulls, I, I really don't care that much. Panpour, Melmetal, and an Arthovish. All right, we have three more mini tins, and that will have been every single mini tin. Usually there's only like five artworks for the mini tins. This time there's eight. Reshiram and a Rocket Zapdos! Beautiful, beautiful from the set gym challenge way back when. A Rocket Zapdos has been pulled. And another Professor's Research, just after I said that card was fairly uncommon, we've now pulled it twice in a row. I'm gonna give you a quick look at these fantastic pulls for today. And of course, Rocket's Admin, very playable card from way back when. Let us get into this next Celebrations pack. We are doing some good damage to the master set of the classical set. Palkia and a Mew. All righty then, let's get into the next region. Oh boy, hashtag Grookey Gang. Uh, I don't know about you, I, I like this tin. This is from the bottom row, I guess you could say. No, yeah, it's from the bottom row. Um, I, I guess they're not really in any order then. I'll just put that over there. Here is the front and now the front, but there's the back and now the front. I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest completely. Let's get into these packs. Drop this over here. I like always putting on my shelf the different type of mini tins. Just looks really, really cool. Uh, I'll say Metal Energy, all right? The artworks for these are just so colorful and bright and vibrant that I really, really am a big fan of the mini tins always. Trap, Teddy Ursa, and a Suicu, holographic. Yeah, they ve they're really cool and they're, you know, they're fairly cheap too and they come with this many packs. Uh, some of the mini tins in the past have come with like Burning Shadows packs way back when, so those were pretty good. Uh, Evolutions packs too. Zekrom, Lugia, Polkia, and another Surfing Pikachu. I have to say, uh, my 
overall thoughts on celebrations you know there's a lot of products coming out for this so i do think while supply may be kind of limited right now i i really do think that pokemon is going to print as much as this is possible to give as many fans uh you know hopefully a mega rain ex oh my gosh that is beautiful you know it has that glittery effect on all the cards but there is texture on these which does make it a very very like feels like quality even though centering hasn't been the best always but scratch the mega rayquaza i'm guessing this is from roaring skies what you know 2015 is that roaring skies am i saying even in the right set i just feel like it's been so long but there we go put that part of the classical subset collection and let's move on to a little pip -lap. so let's see i do like the artwork for this one wait okay Okay, we're better. But uh, hopefully you've been enjoying today's video. Once again, please do consider subscribing to the channel. More big openings coming up, especially in tomorrow's video. Let's see, the coin is the same. We got, whoa, it's like Pogs. Everybody remembers Pogs, right? All right, there we go. There's that. There's that information. And, you know, Darkness of Plays, I will say it could be worse than Darkness of Plays. It's not a bad set. It's just... There's not too many amazing cards in that set. Let me go ahead and open up this Darkness of Blaze pack. And let's do Water Energy. All right, I thought I had it that time. I was really digging deep there. Mr. Mime, Torchic, Rook, Wish, Wish, and a Greedent. I think Greedent's having an alternate art in the uh, upcoming Pokemon set. So... If you're somehow a fan of that Pokemon, I am not. Palkia, let's get you focused. Rodon, Xerneas, and a Mew. I do like that Mew. It's just a fairly common Mew. These, uh, the main set cards really do start stacking up. Uh, because there is, you get those fairly easily. Like these Palkias and everything. Um, in Yveltals. Oh, another birthday Pikachu! We pulled this one last time. It's beautiful. I can give this out to more people whenever it's their birthday. And a professor's research. Not bad. I really do like that card a lot. It's just, it's more like breaking the, the fourth wall or whatever it's called. Well, we've reached the final 10. I do have some more stuff to open up, so don't go nowhere. But plenty of, you know, we still haven't hit those two final main set cards, the professor's research full art. The Shining Mew. But let's see if we can get anything out of this one. If not, we will continue the opening. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the final artwork of the Celebrations Pokemon Mini 10s. Darkness of Blaze Packs, we did get that one big Rillaboom hit, so I am Rilla happy. Okay, I'll stop. Water Energy. Well, there goes the guesses of the energies. No luck with those. Rookity, Teddy, Panpour, Shell, Wish, and another Thievle. So nothing crazy with those. Overall, we did some good, good work on completing that classical celebration set. But we got two packs remaining of these tins. Cosmoem, Zekrom, Mew, and the Coat. There is that Reshiram, which we have not pulled. We did pull the Zekrom full art from black and white uh, in the big opening that I did. Zekrom, Yveltal, Xerneas, and a Lunala. So let's get into the next product. Let me get it right over here. So we have the Dragapult Prime Box. This one has some cool packs in the back. I believe there's a Vivid Voltage pack. And you know me, I'm just, I, I need to pull the, I need to pull so many cards from Vivid Voltage. But let's get into this one. Uh, you know, this is really cool because the Zacian Level X card, they made it into a type of card called Level X. So I've showed this in the previous video, but just in case you haven't seen it, there it is. It gives you a little set information. What I think, I think it's fantastic that they do that. And then this, one of the coolest pins that Pokemon has. And for some reason, it just does not want to. There we go. All right. So there's surfing Pikachu. Gonna go surfing. Oh no. All of a sudden, it's the up Pikachu grandpa. There we go. And then it's a, it's a pretty heavy, well, well bit, you know, built. And then you know, that's it. So I think it's cool. I don't know how many times I can say cool. There's the code for that. And then a beautiful looking 
Zacian level X card. I think that's fantastic. Let's take a look-see at all of the Paxis on the inside of this. And uh, yeah, I mean, these are great packs. No Darkness Ablaze in sight. And we got four Celebrations packs. So let's go with Vivid Voltage first. Not just the Rainbow Pikachu that I need to pull. There's the Hyper Rare Leon and the Pikachu V, the one with the pink background, purple background. Metal Energy. I should have said Lightning. I don't know what I was thinking. Galvantula, Swello, Pineco, Clefairy, Tynamo, Milkery, Meowth, Heroes Metal, and a Shed Ninja. Okay, nothing with that. Chilling Rain, fun set. Alternate art, Do Duo, and steroids running up the side of the hill. And of course, that Golden Snorlax, and I'm being completely forgetting the Blaziken VMAX. I have not pulled the Blaziken VMAX yet, so. It's just not one of my, like, those other two are the ones I'm going to pull more than the Blaziken. Leaf Energy, even though the Blaz Blaziken is more difficult to pull and is worth more money. But, you know, I'll take anything at this point. Hat and an Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. Not bad. Not bad at all. I wish it was the Shadow Rider, though. Got the Night King. All right. We got four Celebrations packs to open up in this video. Let's see what we can do. Xerneas. Bird is the word. I think it's a beautiful card. Zekrom. There it is. It took a while. I was surprised. So the original base set Pikachu, you get the full body now. And the code. This is a very, very common card, but it is still very cool whenever you do pull it. A little creepy sometimes, but cool at the same time. All right. Next up, Xerneas. Kyogre. And a Charizard has been pulled again! Oh my, oh my! What a card, Lunala. So the Charizard is a very, very difficult card to pull. And at this point, I'm really wanting to pull one that has really good centering. Now, the centering is much better on the, uh, the back compared to the front. Uh, but there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Charizard has been pulled once again. Wow, okay, not bad, not bad. We have two Celebrations packs remaining, and then we'll see if we have time for some more shenanigans. Ho-oh, a Dark Gyarados. So we pulled this one before, but it's always fun pulling it in the same video. Dark Gyarados and a Flying Pikachu. There's the code for that. Alrighty, my friends. Once again, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing as well. Let's see what we can do with a Dialga. Reshiram. Bird is the word. And a Zamazenta V. So first one of this opening. All right, Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed the video. You want more celebrations? Click on those videos right now. My name is Lean Art. Stay awesome, stay positive, And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.